when Etta and Nate said that she wanted this to be as close to zero energy as possible, the Trolley brothers said we should talk about possibly being in some of these programs that are available so we can get everybody on the same page. I was interested in having a net zero energy house anyway, so when we heard about it, we thought, why not? You're going to save, you're going to be more comfortable, and you're going to get a little bonus check at the end of this because Connecticut Energy Efficiency Fund has some great incentives. All our homes are high performance energy efficient. That's all we do. That's all we want to do. Everything that Connecticut Zero Energy Challenge was looking for, we were already doing. We were really jazzed because this house is not a conventional, tiny footprint, you know, box. Edo had a demand for a lot of green features. I read a lot of books about ways that we can be efficient and sustainable. This house has radiant heat heated by the solar thermal, heating this two and a quarter inch slab in the living room, dining room, and also providing radiant heat in their uh, master bathroom. It's in the 20s outside and it's in the 60s in here and there's no heat on it. All the glass is triple insulated, triple insulated low in windows with extremely good performance. Typically a house that's super tight, like this one was, and has all its ducts in the thermal envelope, which is crucial, will have zero leakage outside. Today, most fireplaces are on the outside of the, the house and just a thermal heat sink to suck the energy out of the house. Here, this is fully thermally isolated from the outside with a framed wall with mineral wool insulation. We have solar panels on the roof. When the sun heats the roof, there's a uh, liquid, like an antifreeze, that carries the heat down through this into this tank and it heats the water. When the sun isn't heating this tank of water, the pellet boiler knows and starts to draw pellets and it does this all automatically, self-starting and self-feeding. We have a compost toilet. We have a gray water system so that gray water is pumped to the other toilets so that we don't flush fresh water down the toilet. Our garbage is very small because I, I compost practically everything. If someone is interested in a living environmentally friendly and they want to use less energy, then why not? Why not be a part of the Zero Energy Challenge? I mean, we should use what nature has given us. If we live in harmony with the natural systems, then it helps our own lives.